What's up guys, Alex here, welcome back to another video, hope you guys are feeling well and today is going to be kind of an unusual video let's say because I never did this one before. So today I finally got this which is the iPhone X home button plus the audio jack connector that is built into this home button for the iPhone X. As you know the iPhone X doesn't have this really really nice home button that we used to have on every single iPhone model, now it is gone. So this is going to be kind of a replacement for this home button, let's see if it actually works how it fits and how it feels so let's dive into it so guys i got this item from china and it was in transit for about two and a half months and they finally got it just went to the post office and uh, grabbed it and i absolutely forgot about this home button that it exists okay so this is how it looks like uh, let me just focus on it to bring a little bit closer to the camera so the home button Mm, it's not exactly as clicky as the actual, you know, home button on the iPhone 6s or just the regular iPhone. Uh, well, we have a charging port, the lightning port, and of course the 3.5 millimeter jack. So uh, yes, it looks like this: a lightning here, and let's just plug this one in. Hopefully, we'll not get this uh, warning of a unauthorized accessory. So let me just plug this in. Okay, and let's see if it works. So this is iOS 12. Oh my gosh, it works. <laughs> so let me just close all of this multitasking and show you guys in the close up. Okay, so just like this in three, two, one, one, two. Oh my gosh. Uh, so it works kind of, you know, 50 50. Sometimes this doesn't recognize that I'm actually pressing the home button. It just has to be, you know, pressed with a little force on it. Uh, let me just open up the settings. Okay, multitasking, just like on the regular iPhone, I can tell you honestly. So hold for Siri, I guess. Oh my gosh, it's so hard to press. So Siri is not popping up. I guess this iPhone, uh, this button is remapped for Siri or on the iOS 12, it just doesn't work. But anyways, now the multitasking works. We can go home, we can now go here. A <laughs> pretty nice one. Look at that. I can actually unlock my iPhone using the Touch ID. <laughs> just kidding guys, it's it's been unlocked through Face ID of course, but I'm just pressing this button in order to unlock the phone. And you can actually bring up the passcode using this little button, so if it's not unlocked, so let me do like this, it's not unlocked, so it brings the passcode, which is really nice. Okay, so I don't use uh, this regular headphones anymore, but I'm so curious if this will actually work. I think it will, uh, because the technology behind it isn't so, you know, uh, sophisticated. So let me just play some music. Uh, let it be this one. Okay, so I guess it is playing. Yep, it is playing. That's good. You may hear it right now. Yep, that's playing, that's cool. And of course the charging port. So now let's plug this one in. Oh, that is actually so hard to plug in because that's kind of to the right and as you can see that kind of, you know, goes to the right side. So let me just plug this one in. Okay, and it is charging. So I got this vibration from an iPhone. And that is, of course, charging, just like that. Okay, so pretty nice solution for the iPhone X. Both of these are working, but I'm so curious to see if this app will actually work on the regular iPhone model. So let's take a look at the iPhone 5S and will this actually work on here? So let me just plug this one in and Yes, it is charging. I guess the headphones will work anyway, but take a look at this home button. We have a double home button set up on the iPhone. So let's see if this will... Oh my gosh, that works! Holy crap, it works. So I'm pressing right now this home button and this one. So you can have the double home button and just press it with one click like this. Ah, uh, it doesn't work. Oh, that is really interesting, you know? Okay, for Siri, it should actually work on here. Okay. Yep, the Siri works. That's good. And what if I just press like this? Okay, so this iPhone kind of recognizes this home button as a separate home button. So, uh, you know, I'm trying to now go into the multitasking when I press one and then another. So it won't work. So you need to just press one home button two times in order to access multitasking. But it's just the way how it works. Very funny. And I'm, I'm just, you know, super impressed how this actually works in here. And it's very interesting to just see how uh, iPhone actually recognizes this home button as a separate one. Very interesting concept. And yeah, guys, I mean, that should be pretty much it for this adapter. That's pretty much everything that I wanted to show you. If you have any questions or maybe experiments or ideas, what can I do with this one? Uh, let me know in the comments below. 
below. Also, of, co of course, I'm gonna include the link uh, where you can buy this one, but probably not from this seller because, you know, this thing was in transit for like two and a half months. I absolutely delayed this video and, you know, I don't think that it's gonna be even interesting right now, maybe, but who knows. But anyways, guys, if it's interesting, just let me know by hitting the like button. That would be super much appreciated. And as always, guys, I really hope to see you around on my next one. And peace out.